Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing. The part of the week where we capstone it all off and end a nice Sunday with a nice Dank Web video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, what is the theme for today? Uh, Y'all know what I'm going to say. It's all random, all the time. With that all said, ladies and gentlemen, I have some interesting stuff that, uh, that, that, I, that, that, I, that I've got sort of coming into the mind. So that being said, let's just sit back, relax, and go to our very first website. So, this one is, Welcome to the site of the Sacred Ball Commune. And thus, she was compelled to speak of himself in the third person, enraptured and confounded with the fourth of thy motto, the will to evil without ignorance. You see, we haven't seen some truly satanic shit in a while, so in reality, I'm actually really fucking excited about the prospect of witnessing the satanic arts. Now, again, I always, I feel like I might have seen this site before, but then again, any site with a fucking 90s-esque, uh, environment like this, it's, it's all, it's all gonna, it's all gonna be something that y'all, y'all think you see, but this one is, again, I, I also gotta ask, why, why does Satanism always have to be evil, like, this is the exact reason why the Satanism is not taken off, you attach the word evil to it, okay, like, nobody wants to see, okay, the, the words, the fucking, like, why, okay, don't, why don't you just call it good? Okay, good Satanism. Maybe that's an oxymoron. I don't know. I haven't exactly met a Satanist myself. You know, if you're a Satanist and you would like to explain the fucking irrational uh, being of evil here, let me know, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'm just wrong. It's fucking two in the morning right now, so probably... Probably very wrong, but that being said, let's go into this. On the force of nature, not constrained by physics, which gives rise to mind, the great beast 666 has awakened. Let us rejoice. Every time I see it, I always say that shit. I love how you can open it, but there's nothing that it leads to. The great beast 666, I, I always love how whenever I come across shit, that they're like, oh, the beast has awoken. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, where, where's the beast right now? Okay, where, where the fuck am I? Am I the beast? Are we the beast? Are we entirely a beast? Is this a... I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's it's a sacred ball commune, okay? So they got a bunch of shit open on the side. We'll look through each and every one of it. This one is a little interesting, okay? This one, I believe, goes to, like, ritual or some shit. Babbitt hath uttered, it's the ladies, it's the ladies. Now silence and contempt towards the conduit. The fool tried to block passage to the temple. It's like playing Assassin's Creed 2 and you got the fucking glyph puzzles. Like, you ever play that shit and they give you, like, five random pictures and, like, some fucking loosely, like, some loose quote to tie together? Yeah, that's what it is. So we've got what seems to be, what is that, fucking close-up of, close of salt? Close-up of sugar? All right, we've got water, okay? It's something dropped into water, okay? You got the ripple effect. You've got a butterfly knife. Again, I actually really don't know what the fucking combination of all this is. We have a rope, okay? Seems like you're building a kidnapping kit, all right, with the knife and the rope, and you've got this lovely drawn photo of what I believe to be a satanic haiku, all right. So again, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm at a loss for words. Okay, let's go to another side over here. Lay of Our Lady Golden Calf. This is a very female-oriented satanist site too. You don't really see these too often. Uh, not only do they fucking, they, they definitely seem like they hate the fuck. This is the matriarchal satanic side, dude. Bath, Babbitt hath uttered, all laws of man, be they, be they abolished. Yeah, n none of our laws work, dude. Thou must not make the world a better place. See, that, that's why people don't sign up. Nobody. Gee, you want to burn the world? Okay, this is your cult. Babbitt hath uttered, knowest not thine enemy, thou that art the enemy of mine. Okay, so if you knowest not thine enemy. So if you don't, if you don't know your enemy, then you're the enemy of theirs, okay? So even if you don't have any enemies, you're their fucking enemy. That's true. Share not thy knowledge, okay? If you have any. Moaneth our whore. <laughs> Mist throws of sacred lust. Doth much blood glisten in the moon's awful glow. That's... That's a, that's a filthy whore. <laughs> Repent ye not for a moment. Don't, don't at all, dude. Abaddon screams, Nietzschean pros. Not for the meek shall we suffice to muzzle the wolf. This, this fucking has to be written by a 12-year-old, dude. Accept thy doom, lest ye be the chosen. So it's got a copyright of VVVVVVVVV. That's a game, by the way. And Sacred Temple of Ball. I've never heard of Sacred Temple of Ball, but I've definitely done a lot of ball runs in Diablo, too. So maybe, oh my fucking God, what is this cancer of HTML? Jesus fucking Christ. Society, my name is Lucy. Welcome to the commune. It is an honor to be making the divine a more permanent 
dominant presence in life. The gods speak through us all when they will. However, it is not all whom the gods have chosen to speak for them as such. Antithetical to the spirit of inspiration, my thoughts run dry. Addressing an imaginary, Im imaginary audience, okay, an imaginary audience, uh, sorry, I'm a little asshole tonight, holy fucking shit, <laughs> I'm a bitch, <laughs> speaking to a specter, which is the public, and it is precisely the specter which should be avoided in making any such introduction. Genuine spiritual practice might be described as a relationship with an influence often shunted out from the accepted perceptions of the real or normal Normal. Generally, it's probably best to make no self-introduction at all as one delves deeper. Still into the prime why am I reading my problem? Still into the primal forces of nature. Behold! The spirit the ignorant ones denounce as illusory and the poltergeist they have dubbed to be the real are in fact one in the same, yet they are opposed. So again, God speaks through us all. Indeed, God will speak through atheists as the god of rationalization and faith in science. Not one is spared from the alternating reigns of life and death. Who is this god I speak of? It is none other than Baal. It is our cherished lady calf of gold. The gods permitted that mankind would be base and vulgar, and forever they are worshipped in all forms that man could perceive in his habitual capacity. Habitual. An insult is mankind to our sacred bow. And so mankind stares forever, cursing onto its own reflection. Uttereth, thus hath Babbitt. Is this, is this motherfucker ain't on an FBI watch list already. Oh, <laughs> they should be now. So apparently that seems to be the entire uh, satanic website. Um, yeah, there really isn't much to it, ladies and gentlemen. From what I can gather here, uh, be a total bitch to everyone around you, okay? Satanism, okay, if you don't know your neighbor, you're their enemy, okay? If you don't know your enemy, you're their enemy, okay? And, and, and fuck human beings, okay? All right, fuck! human beings. You get that? You, get, you want me to repeat it again? Fuck human beings. Let's go to the next web page. One that makes just a tad bit more sense than this fucking stuff. Tripping Lissy, existential wanker blinded by perfection. Video games, government brainwashing tool, December 20th, 2012. Dude, that's like a day before the world was supposed to end, remember? So anyways, here we go. Video games are one of the fastest growing industries right now, with franchises such as Halo bringing in revenues of over $3 billion. Governments are increasingly trying to twist the business into a brainwashing machine to promote their agendas. Oh my god. Just as has been done with the movie industry. Yeah, we've... So, first of all, she shows America's Army, which is an actual game from the United States Army uh, that was created. Um, last time I checked, I think it's dead. I don't think anybody plays America's Army. I'm not fucking sure. But, yeah, that was, that was one of the examples of a game made by fucking... Made by the military. I guess brainwashing tool. So anyways, go down over here. Oh, they got a screenshot of fucking Homefront. No, this is not real. It's a... Of course it's not real. Okay. What? You don't even have to squint to figure out that isn't real. It's a screenshot from the video game Homefront. Why are video games such a perfect tool for governments? And why are governments stepping up their usage of them? You, have, you haven't proved that, that the government made Homefront, okay? Homefront was not made by the government, okay? I don't even think the government would claim ownership of a game that did so poorly. Come on now. <laughs> it wasn't a bad game, though. What, oh, I, I liked the home front. Okay, I like that shit. It was a decent game. I have it for PlayStation right here. Wish the online still worked. But anyways, because the internet generation now have easy access to all information and points of view, government don't want kids using the internet to learn about these things. Well, the government fucked up there. <laughs> So governments need to keep kids distracted and under constant brainwashing. A typical American kid might go to school all morning learning about how great America is. And I, actually, I'll tell you one thing. When I went to <laughs> at a U.S. history class once, holy shit, well, I tell you, my teacher was fucking... She, she, she always used to fucking be Miss Contrary in the fucking America, dude. I swear to God. She... she, she <laughs> Let me tell you, she did not make America sound like the most perfect country in the fucking world. So we got all viewpoints, dude. But anyways, 
typical American kid will go learning about Great America is not dangerous, the rest of the world is. And then come home and play some video games like Strategy 2012. Oh, yeah. Wait, who, who here played Strategy 2012 when they came home with fucking Mitt Romney and Advance Wars? This is Advance Wars modded with Mitt Romney. I swear to God, it is. Holy shit. Look at that. That's the APCs from Advance Wars. That's like the mechs. That's like... What? They're capturing buildings. Holy shit. What? Romney, the first primary Iowa. This should be no problem. I'll show the world how truly right Mitt Romney is. Who the fuck plays a shitty ROM hack of Advance Wars? Just play Advance Wars! <laughs> the game was free during the presidential campaign and tells you who you should vote for and how political campaigns are run. Or at least how the government would like you to think it's done. This is the official game description. Help Mitt Romney win the nomination by beating his conservative rivals. Then choose Romney or Obama and fight for the presidency in Ohio. Yeah, I bet, I bet kids fucking lined up to get that fucking pre-order. America's Army. Getting your kids through boot camp before they are 18. Yeah, dude. Or how about this free game recruiting tool that has caused taxpayers well over $50 million to develop and that will ensure your kids more and more likely want to enter the army? America's army costs $50 million to develop, dude? <laughs> Where the fuck did that money disappear to? <laughs> Seen fucking Unity projects that cost like a fucking fraction of that. Is what is called a third-person shooter that will... No, it's not. It's a first-person shooter. You fucked that up. That will teach you about real military strategies, weapons, equipment, and more. Prepping your kids for the future. In order to even get to play the game, you will first register all your personal information. We all filled in fake shit, okay? All right. You realize how many times I put Mike Hawk into a fucking registration shit and got through it? Come on now, okay? How many times I used a junk email of all things? Jesus Christ. You learn to internet. Anyways, uh, boot camp where you are forced to watch video interviews with American heroes that have been to war, talking about how great it is. Once you actually have to play this, you'll realize the lack of blood, gore, and other atrocities, making sure not to scare away future recruits. Not only are government-developed games spreading propaganda, game developers are now accepting the norms set by the government, like in Scribblenauts. What?! <laughs> wait, wait, stop, Scribblenauts? Where the game sets a puzzle for you to solve by conjuring items. The one puzzle you get a mission called Peacefully Break Up the Rioters. What would a sane person try first? Well, I tried Diplomat and Peacekeeper. Neither had any effect. So I tried... Te tear gas. <laughs> oh my god. What? And had the crowd crying and dispersing in seconds, immediately earning a gold star just as you would at school. Oh my I haven't played Scribble Knots in a while, but Jesus fucking Christ, use tear gas. I love this game, dude. It's life's fucking treasure. I don't even think that's how they wanted you to do it, they just gave you the option. After a good session of gaming, the kids will then watch some TV, like, say, CSI, where the police are always right and teach you that you will always be caught and punished by the government super agents if you break the rules. Correct me if I'm wrong, isn't CSI about, like, 95% of the episodes on CSI about, like, rapists and shit? Wouldn't you want the cops to arrest the fucking rapists there? Okay, the murderer? Okay, the serial killers? Oh, well, no, I committed a serial killing. I hope the cops don't fucking catch me. What kind of a message is that? All right, Jesus Christ, people, come on now. You're going to make kids fucking John Wayne Gacy out of nowhere, you dumbass. <laughs> what? Anyways, uh, government industry has been affected by government propaganda. Now, they're constantly sending the information they want to your kids, except for when they sleep. But don't be surprised if they come up with a way to get them, too. <sighs> Nobody fucking commented. What a shock. Ladies and gentlemen, um... This is the most cutesy looking blog I've ever seen. And the fact that I learned how Scribble Knots, America's Army, and whatever the fuck this shit is, confuses and befuddles kids. Fuck me, Tinder, ladies and gentlemen. Because I think that I think this person's totally right. Video games are brainwashing tools run by the United States government. It's always the fucking United States government. Do you know that Japanese video game developers secretly work for the United States government? Not Japan. The United States. That being said, oh, let's back the fuck out and go somewhere else. <sighs> oh my god, this cancerous HTML posting. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck you, this boy. Wow, those are four words I uh, did not know I was going to come across. But anyways, let's look at this shit. So we've got a picture of, we've got a selfie 
of somebody out by the lake. Of course, their face is covered in red MS paint. To the left is the Hindu, uh, sw the Sanskrit sign for peace. Thank you very much. All right. That's what it is, YouTube. All right. It's not the other mentionable thing. But anyways, fuck you, pedo. Okay. Well, f okay. Well, fuck the pedo. I hate this boy. What? That's a pedo? Or is it a boy? Like, what is it? Is it a fucking, is it under 18? Is, is he under 18? Like, what the fuck, is that the pedo? I don't know. Do not you make fun of me, or you will be famous on Darknet. Ooh, you see what the red smoke in the background? I almost, if you look over here, you can see how fucking shitty resolution the JPEG is. I feel like this is going to be, is this, is this, um, is this possibly a potentially new red room? Ooh, boy. Oh, no, it's not. Fuck you, shit. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but actually, I've sounded like an asshole the whole video. This is like the fucking... It's like, it's, I don't, maybe English isn't a strong suit, but you're making this sound like you have some fucking schizophrenia or some shit, dude, Jesus. Dark Elf web chat, no thanks. I am Dark Elf, 31, and I am hate this boy. So if that's really a boy, which by the way, I know I can't see the face, but judging from like, you know, the way that he looks, he's either a really fucking skinny lad or it's actually like a 12, 13 year old kid. And if you're 31 years old, Dark Elf, which I assume that's what 31 is, I mean, unless there's like 30 other Dark Elves that just fucking magically happen to exist, I don't know. Um, the wording is a little interesting. Apparently you hate this boy, so I don't know what hating this boy, but calling him a pedo really does. I mean, if a 13-year-old is interested towards other 13-year-olds, that's not really a pedophile. You know, I, I I mean, in that case, I guess, motherfucker, we were all pedophiles, right? Because, holy shit, fuck, dude, you can't be attracted when you're 13 to your, your similar age group, Jesus Christ. But let's view the page source and try and figure this out, if this even wants to load. What this is, is kind of an interesting site. I didn't really expect to come across this, but apparently there's some genuine hate or something, but there's no exposure, because we haven't exactly seen the face or anything. The last time we came across this shit was actually a kid that was being picked on YouTube, which, by the way, that child actually did manage to come onto the, uh, that video at the time. I don't remember which one it is. Maybe somebody could link it in the comment section. That boy actually came and, uh, you know, explained how they were being harassed by this one motherfucker, but... Going down, the HTML doesn't exactly list anything over here. Um, double feature 20, whatever the fuck that is. Oh, that's the font. Lucy to sell that. Font size, double feature, fuck you. Do not make fun of me. You'll be famous on Darknet. Uh, fuck you shit. I love how, like, all this shit, like, was just added. Well, you probably didn't put raw HTML in, but it just looks really retarded. Fuck you shit. Okay, and then they've got, like, the link to the web chat, okay, celebratings, all right, that's, a, that's an interesting thing, and 31, I hate this boy, so, interesting website, man, sometimes you come across shit that does genuinely leave you unnerved, I am actually worried for this young little child, I assume it is a child, I mean, if it is a pedophile, then fuck the pedophile, but it doesn't look like he's fucking over 18, let me tell you, I can just sort of figure this one out. But, assuming that is a pedophile, it's just the use of the word boy is just so, it throws me off, you know? But, I don't know, assuming that is a pedophile, fuck him. But if that's a kid, I feel genuinely worried about this kid and the fact that somebody, I'm going to assume 31, is um, talking about him being famous on the darknet. Really interesting shit. But, uh, that being said, I can't exactly do anything about it. I can't jump through the screen and figure out the whole conundrum to this. Let's all hope for the best. Let's all say it in our prayers or, you know, let's worship to the sacred temple of the ball and say, Woo, I hope this kid manages to eke out of this just fine. Let's go somewhere else. Holy can you count the pixels, ladies and gentlemen. We have our deep web video of the week, and might I say the award after 144 episodes for the lowest quality video I could find. Literally, holy shit, I can count the pixels on one fucking hand. Uh, if the Minecraft awards were still alive and healthy, I'm pretty sure this video would earn the fucking World Seed Award for lowest quality resolution. Anyways, all those low quality resolution jokes aside, this is a 45 second long video, ladies and gentlemen. So it's pretty much hitting our average exactly on the dot, which is 45 seconds. Yes, I just remembered. Anyways, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's hit play. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, so it's two people talking. What is 
Oh, they're playing. They're playing handball. I see. They're just throwing a ball at each other. Okay, what the fuck is this? Oh, he's playing with his head. Oh, they're knocking around. What am I watching? <laughs> well, see, this is innocent. I like this. All right, they're just playing around. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? What's going on here? <laughs> what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Dude, this is in Mexico! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? They're just, it just goes from them playing ball to some creepy shit over there. Okay, let's, let's try to, let's try to figure this out, okay? Let's try to understand. So the, the beginning is interesting, you know, they're playing around with their ball and shit. Ba base basic stuff, they're playing around, whatever, and then, like, after a while, it just goes over here, alright, like, if you look uh, to this, to this, like, look over here, they edited in the, uh, brightness over here, so you can sort of see more, like, a saturated out a little more, but, like, hitting play over here, the, the fucking weirdest shit about it is, like, this thing pops out, Now I don't really know what this is, but it's like a head that pops up. But as you can see, it's a little mini pole. There's no shadowing that happens over here. It literally is just... What is it? What is it supposed to be? Okay, what the fuck is it supposed to even be? Yeah, see, they, they, they're talking in Spanish. And I believe that's Spanish from the Mex from Mexico, right? Because all Spanish is really treated differently. Like some, some countries have special words. I'm pretty sure cabron is Mexico exclusive. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm not Spanish myself, so if anybody, if anybody can tell me the etymology of the word cabron in the Spanish language, is that from Mexico? Am I, am I, am I, am I high over here? Is this Juarez or is this all the way down in fucking Colombia? I don't know, but I'm gonna assume it's like Mexico or something. What is it? What the fuck is that? It's like, there's no shadow being cast. It's just a creepy fucking, like, what is that? It's like an animal. Jesus Christ. Is this, is it, is this Slender Man? Is this like from the fucking, I mean, this video would reflect, the quality of it would reflect the time period, maybe. Is this, <laughs> is it, is it Mexican Slender Man? Is it, is it Poppy Slender Man? Dude, what? They're just, what is this video? Wait, so funny. They're just, they're literally, they're literally practicing their FIFA tricks for later today. There's just two innocent fucking lads in the middle of fucking sweet dot something something. And then they're fucking, and then, like, what? No, you see more of the body. Look at that. Look at that. It just pops out. Hello. <laughs> and then he's like, what? Capron, get out of here. Vamos, vamos. And then he's like, and then, like, and then, like, over here, just zooms in, and you see this motherfucker staring out. There's no concrete shit. The worst part is, like, if the video quality was at least, like, fucking God, if it was at least, like, 640p, like, a proper resolution, I could at least figure out what it is. But it literally looks like a goddamn, like, squirrel that just popped its head out, and this dude's, like, shitting himself. I'm gonna assume what we're seeing here is, like, Mexican Slenderman, dude. Spanish Slenderman. Slenderman El Mexico, dude. Mexico. Let me let me know what you think about it, dude. I'm pr I'm pretty sure it's a cartel spy or some shit, dude. I'm gonna assume, man. It's it's got to be the federales watching out if the kids are doing the kit, kit things. I I don't fucking know, dude. I'm 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 all sorts of tired, and I'm gonna assume that on camera we have at least witnessed Mexican Slender Man, dude. I I, I don't even know if it's Mexico. It could be it could be one of the Latin countries, but I know it's definitely got to be in Latin America. Uh, this doesn't look like Spain to me, and. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to assume it's probably Mexico. So it's just two innocent kids playing ball and shit. And this fucking, this weird, weird thing stares out at him and scares them silly, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Poor kids, man. Poor kids. I hope they made it fine. I hope one of them ends up, you know, fucking practicing whatever shot they did and succeeding to the heart's content. But ladies and gentlemen, if you could figure out what the, what that pixel was, let me know in the comment section below. That would be very much appreciated. I'm going to back out of this. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Cluesforum.info, September Clues, re oh my fucking god, Jesus Christ, exposing media fakery, are you fucking kidding me right now, they have a whole board of just 9, why am I surprised, it's the 9-11, it's like the biggest conspiracy theory ever, it's like the mecca of conspiracy theorem, so like, of course they would have it, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have a whole board dedicated to the greatest memes in the world, fucking 61,000 posts, 
about 9-11 and fucking space controls. Holy shit, Jesus fucking Christ. Now, look, I'm not here to say truthers and shills. Jesus Christ. I'm not here to say that, like, there's not conspiracies in the world, but I'm just... Sometimes, okay, people try to look at things so deep that their minds start filling in shit that isn't there, okay? Jesus Christ. And I know what somebody's going to say. Oh, Muda knows a lot about... Muda knows the inner workings of 9-11, but he won't expose it. He's trying to keep it a secret. You know what? You're right, all right? I know more, more than more than a lot of people would, and I try to keep it a secret, okay? There you go. Anyways, let's look into this. September Clues and 9-11. September Clues and 9-11 PSYOP exposed. The media aired a made-for-TV Hollywood movie... Uh, you, you know, you know, people saw that the towers go down. I mean, that's that, that's taken the movie idea a little too far. So, anyways, you go into this. Just Sim City 9/11. Are you fuck? That's that's how you know that you can't trust it. Sim City 9/11 CGI collapse footage. Are you fucking serious? Let me open that up here real quick. The top crush down global. Structural collapses of World Trade Center 1 and 2 shown live on TV with smoke ejected sideways and upwards with all steel columns. You see collapse 100% of animation Hollywood style. You can thus be sure that what you see on TV videos, photos also are animations. Falling people from floors above holes and wall. Actually, the floors above are completely undamaged and there should not be any smoke or fire there. So why jump? Okay, actually, wait a minute. Are you literally implying that when these towers fell, they made CGI of it? Why would you make CGI of the towers falling when they actually fell in real fucking life? I don't understand it. What? What? Why would you do that? Because a movie made it look like that? Because a movie made that CGI? Guess what? CGI is very fucking convincing, okay? If I wanted to make a deep fake, I could, okay? If I wanted to fake something, I could. But the towers actually fell. I don't understand it. It's like fucking saying... What? Sorry, if it sounds like I'm getting really fucking... <laughs> <laughs> tilted about it? I am. Because they actually fell. Why would you make CGI of an actual event? You just record the event, and then you post the event. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking God. Discuss. Okay, let's go down over here. Oh, here they are. They're making fucking gifts of this shit. Image? I have no problems agreeing with this. Does 2 plus 2 equal 12? No, nah, dude. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Anyways, the image that was posted, 9-11, memorandum in museum. Oh my- wait, what? What happened here? What are they- what are they doing? Is it is that a donkey? What the fuck? What's going on, dude? What is it? It makes no sense, bro. This is fucking weird. But at the same time, it is pretty interesting theorem. So the empty towers, the limit on democracy film by Tufa video. What is 911 SimCity? What did he fucking do? What is this shit? 911 SimCity topic. Nine, okay, what is this? This is the original topic? Let me go over here. What is this shit? Since 2001, technology has evolved and another false flag image based on fake imagery should take place. None of the atrocious blunders of 9-11 imagery will be repeated. This is why I think this is our very last chance to expose the intentions of the self-anointed elite of this world. The human race has to be thankful for the fact that the nerdy people behind... <laughs> Oh my god, the fucking globe heads behind the 9-11 hoax were so laughably inept in planning and executing their disgraceful, sordid scam. So here we go, folks. What does this have to do with SimCity? What, 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 where, where, where is SimCity? Last time I remember, Maxis Productions had nothing to do. What? <laughs> what? What is this? Wait a minute, wait, what? Somebody actually broke that? That's fucked up, dude. Like, justify that shit? Jesus Christ. I don't know what you could say by kill Arabic. Like, what the what, what what is that supposed to mean? It's a language, motherfucker. Do you want to kill a language? <laughs> Make some sense, people. Jesus. It's like, both sides are really, really cancerous. So here they got Pentagon Live. It, it, this is a lie. This is like the worst fucking clickbait I've ever goddamn seen. I expected to get some SimCity footage, but I didn't get any SimCity footage. In fact, I'm getting, like, analytical looks. 9-11 imagery. To the, so they're, like, literally comparing, like, different types of videos, smoke effects. Like, dude... Dude, come on, man. Come the fuck on, bro. What, 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 what are they What are they fucking hiring Pixar to make the CG shit? Jesus, bro. Come on. Come on now. Isn't that kind of insulting to the fucking people that have died? The simulate... Vic Sims. The simulate... Oh, so they're implying that a lot of the victims there were fake. Now, there's some interesting shit. Weren't the... Weren't, didn't they, like, try and empty out the place or something? It was weird, dude. 
It was a, it was a weird situation. But beyond that, okay, they've got a whole section of 9-11. Let's go see the truthers for a second. Uh, oh, wait, chill. Sorry, people like me. Alex Jones is Bill, <laughs> Bill Hicks disinformation. The Gentleman Guide to Forum Spies. Oh, fuck. Gentle person, sorry. Do you literally think there are shills online? Probably. We throw the ra around the term shill, but I never thought about the logistics. I mean, the information on the amount of people that work for the NSA as well as their budget is, of course, classified. I was just mentally trying to picture guys who sit at, uh, who sit at the, behind the computers all day long just to defend official counts of events. On the surface, it sounds ridiculous, but when I see the relentless effort of those who try to discredit those who challenge on official accounts of events, you can't help but think they'd be on the payroll. Okay, look. Look. I'm going I'm, to I'm be serious here. I'm going to be serious. There's two sides to the story. Nobody's questioning you questioning. But when you start saying the fucking lizards did 9-11, or the fucking towers were crumbling with some power of CGI, people are going to think you're high on crack cocaine. Okay? That's what it comes down to. You are high on crack cocaine. That's what people think. Just saying. All right, anyways, let's, 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 uh, let's just sort of see the other one. So they have other memes and, like, conspiracy theories over here. So worldwide media deceptions... Well, let's open that up. A whole thing about space hoaxes. I swear to God, I want to see. Please fucking Christ, tell me if there's a goddamn, um, flat earth. F oh my God. Flat earth, dude. Of course. Of course. How did I know? How did I fucking know? Flat earth, dude. Fl Wait, what is this? Elon Musk, SpaceX? Oh shit, this is a heavy board, dude. The ISS hoax is entering a new phase today. The ISS has been served by 140 various unmanned or manned spaceships of all kind. Of course, ISS is not as it becomes such a scam going. For now, one, from now on, the thing is privatized. Enter SpaceX, company of Hawthorne, California, and the owner, Elon Musk, allegedly developed a new rocket called Falcon with a top module called Dragon that will serve the ISS from now on. NASA is happy to hand over the shit to SpaceX because it is a private U.S. company. What supposedly happens today is that Rocket Falcon takes off from JFK Space Center, Florida, and sends Module Dragon. Who is Elon Musk? Apparently born in South Africa in 1971, but emigrated to Canada in 1989, where he started an internet service provider company that was a success, and he sold it four years later, pocketed 300 million, not bad. Then Musk created PayPal, that was another success, that was good. Then he created Tesla Motors, and then after that he fucking did SpaceX. Jesus, so what is this? Are they, are they calling him, like, a cunt, or, like, are they, are they calling him, like, a space cuck? What's going on over here? There's nothing bad to this. What the what the fuck? What the what the fuck is this? Who gives a shit? All right, Jesus Christ! What, what are you what are you giving me a little biopic here? I want to know about flat Earth. <laughs> what the moon hoax? Oh, you've got to be. Fu oh wait, it's probably about us landing on the moon. Okay, not the the fucking moon as a projection by NASA. Jeez, that would have been. <sighs> That, that would have put me into a fucking coma. Anyways, I mean, I'm almost done with the site. I think I spent way too much time on this. Polish president's plane crash, airplane crashes, BP oil spills. Is Hillary Clinton being faked? What? Hillary Clinton collapsing, the video of the Drudge Report. Okay, you know what? You know what this is? This is, a, this is a special type of forum, dude. If you're interested in seeing this kind of shit, ladies and gentlemen... Here's your site, okay? If you want to partake in the world of conspiracies, you've got it. But for me, we're going to back out and go to another website, okay? How the fuck were the towers falling CGI? I don't get it. I'm triggered. Let's go somewhere else. Chemtrails kill the truth denied. Okay, we're getting a lot of fucking government shit today. Apparently, I think today is the week that the government fucking pissed in everyone's cereal and suddenly everyone has to be a bitch about it. But it doesn't matter because I'm the apex bitch for this night, dude. I'm fucking totally being an ass. World events including chemtrails, geoengineering, polar shift, UFO sightings, secret space programs, dumb, deep underground military bases, GMO, health, Morgellons disease, aerospace programs, secret societies, Viagra, Good Burger, Pauly Shore, Bilderberg Group, Smart Meters, Artificial Life. I, I just fucking say everything, okay? Why do you why do you title it Chemtrails Kill? You're clearly talking about fucking everything. So what does it matter? All right. Anyways, so this has almost like wow, and fucking Jesus. A lot of people clicked on this. Impressive. Anyways, Scientology going down hard. Clearly, Scientology is a bridge. To what? To slow kill road to becoming broke, abused, not to mention ending up emotionally, physically, and spiritually bankrupt. What is even more heartbreaking is families that are ripped apart because one member decides that Scientology is not for them. Okay, so like, 
I, I, I've talked about Scientology before, right? Like, the fucking... Uh, this is the reason why I don't talk about that shit, too, because they got some fucking weird-ass people, like, basically shutting down anybody that dare says anything about it, dude. Them motherfuckers be an interesting bunch of individuals, okay? But anyways, let's go down to what the real meat of the site is, which is uh, fighting against global warming of the planet via geoengineering. So these people believe that these trails, so... Have you ever looked up in the air and seen, like, a jet fly and it leaves this big stream behind? Usually a lot of that is pretty much the exhaust from the uh, gas that you're using, all that kind of shit. A lot of people over here think that it's necessarily uh, the government injecting chemical trails into the air that are changing how the environment functions, you know, turning the frogs gay or whatever, if you will. Uh... It's a hell of a stretch, ladies and gentlemen, but of course it's always the United States government doing it, and of course they can do it to the entire world in somehow, shape, and form, let's believe that one, but you can see in the sky, you've got chemtrail, okay, something flew, chemtrail, air chemtrail, you see that shit in the air, chemtrails, more of that chemtrails, 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 oh, look at that, chemtrail in progress, Cam that just looks like clouds. Cam trails. Woo quadra cam trails. The, oh why didn't <laughs> that looks like some Egyptian hieroglyphic cam trails. Down with creme trails. Peace. Anyways. Jesus Christ. So now over here, disclose secret UFO program discussion by Steve Bissett and Grant Kame. Part 2, further investigations by Stephen Bissett of PRG and UFO reporter Grant Kamaran on the recovered metal that does not appear to be from Earth. Oh my fucking God. Trump meets Homeland... Okay, let's get out of here, dude. This is, we're clearly entering a fucking tipping point that we should probably stray far fucking away from. So, if we go up over here, they've got, like, subjects. So, they've got chemtrails, discussion. I want to actually click healing, because that's what got me to it. Uh, Venusian Ra, a channeling and order of the Divine Feminine. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's go Let's go to chemtrails. That, that's something. Chemtrails kill blog discussions. So, okay, forum, oh, that's a great, that's, that's great, dude, when the forum is not active anymore, whew, alright, so the last post, I think, was 20 fucking 11, which is some old, old ass shit, if I go to older posts even more than that, we should be able to find, the site is made really horribly, by the way, of course, there's nothing that's related to chemtrails, it seems, it seems that the, um, the webpage doesn't really work as well, so I'm gonna try going over here, and seeing, is that all the post has to offer? Please enjoy our... Okay, so it's just fucking YouTube videos. Now, the interesting thing is, I don't exactly know how legit some of this could be, but if I go all the way up here, they got eight posts in 2018 alone, two in March, which is truth denied. Bioterror! Ooh, God! Biological weapons documentary. Bioterror tells a chilling story of how scientific advances in germ warfare are fast outstripping the science of detection and prevention. Alright, you know what it is? You know what the site is? It's the fucking aggregation of bargain bin conspiracy theories, dude. I know I'm being a bitch this week, but it's very late at night, and I swear to God, I, chemtrails has always been the, the conspiracy theory that I've never truly understood myself. Like, don't get me wrong, chemtrails have always been that conspiracy theory that I assume... Chemtrails have always been that fucking conspiracy theory that, like, I just could never wrap my head around for a lot of reasons. Like, I, I, I'm not I'm not saying that, like, there isn't shit being tossed into the air, but Jesus Christ, some people, they go a hell of a way to make this shit seem a lot scarier than it really is, ladies and gentlemen, which always sort of drives me insane. You go to the tipping point side of it. Tipping point part one, what exactly does the tipping point mean? Well, I'm sure that you're all acquainted with the hundredth monkey theory or the straw that broke the camel's back to point dynamic and proven numbers of a turning point. Connectors, mavens are information specialists, salesmen are persuaders, charismatic people with powerful negotiation skills. Tipping point series, all right, an interesting, interesting shit. Connectors are people who link up who link us up with the world, people with a special gift of bringing the world together. The law of few. It's a hell of a thing, dude. And I'm going to check discussions. Discussions doesn't have a thing. The forums are... Okay. Again, the site is a clusterfuck, ladies and gentlemen. So it promises a whole lot of things, uh, but I don't think it covers half the conspiracies that it lists. 
Uh, for a site called Chemtrails Kill, I have not learned how Chemtrails Kill. I don't even know how the truth was fucking denied, ladies and gentlemen, but apparently Chemtrails do kill, and the truth is being denied. I am going to take their word for it. Again, uh, please give me some more definitive proof. Thank you very much. K and thanks. I'm just gonna ease up, back out, head somewhere else. And ladies and gentlemen, that was another episode of Dank Web Browsing, Deep Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, the series where we take a look at the side of the internet that is a little too dank for regular viewing. Now, what have we learned today, ladies and gentlemen? Lots of conspiracies, lots of satanic principles, chemtrails, kill, and video games are brainwashing equipment. But I think the biggest question of this week is, Mexican Slenderman is one fine, thin fella. That's for damn sure. But... I'm going to leave that where it is, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I have much more to put into that. May God bless those two individuals that were just playing soccer and were assaulted by a fucking meme. Let's hope the best for them. Let them be in our prayers. This has been me, Mudahar, and I know I've been a bitch tonight. Let me know what you think about my fucking dry sense of humor late in the night. If you prefer it, I might stick more to it. If you don't, I'll have some sleep. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it or dislike it. I love you. I am out.